Mike pointed out that in order to establish a market presence and a demand through direct sales, it would be necessary to create a brand name and identity. As per Mike's suggestion, we have developed a few basic elements to help with your brand identification, starting with the car magnets. These can easily be put onto a delivery vehicle. Any delivery that is made, people will immediately know who is coming and what products are being delivered. We have also looked at labeling for your packaging, 10 roll and 48 roll toilet tissue, as well as signage. We've got business cards, letterheads, shirts, caps, banners, and also your invoicing and quoting templates. By branding Zamakulu's products and buildings, Chantal and Viren can establish the brand in the minds of consumers. They can further build their brand in the community by supplying their offcuts to schools for use in art projects. Following Mike's advice, we're at Stanga Pre-Primary where Chantal and Viren are here to donate uh, waste material from their factory. Mike suggested to Chantal and Viren that in order to benefit from direct sales, they would need to employ a direct sales team. In order to grow sales more effectively, Chantal and Viren need to employ salespeople, train them and manage them. Francis pointed out to Chantal and Viren that HR processes are essential for employing staff and that they do not have these processes in place for their business. Zamakulu wants to drive sales and to do that the company must employ people. Before it can do that, however, the HR processes that are key for any business must be put in place. Although the manufacturing process at Zamakulu generally works well, Francis was nevertheless able to identify a bottleneck that has an impact on production. With the purchase of a second cutting machine, the bottleneck will be eliminated and production will more than double. Zamakulu's financials are currently being run manually. Thane suggested that Chantal and Viren automate the process for their business. A computer will help with the automation of Zamakulu's financials. The business will also need one should Chantal and Viren want to finance a second cutting machine. Among other important compliance issues, Zamakulu needs to comply with the Health and Safety Act. By implementing Thane's sound advice, Chantal and Viren will ensure that Zamakulu will be legally compliant. They will also be able to manage the risks associated with this type of business. So definitely no confusing where I am this time. That sign tells me exactly where I am. And the sign back there told me I was on the way here. We may just have a brand on our hands. Let's go check it out. Hello there. Hello, Andile. How are Andile. you? Oh my goodness, look at this place. Fantastic, what else has changed? Uh, quite a bit, can I have a look? Please. Francis was here, right? And she was going to give you guys some advice about production and how to improve it. We are looking at getting a second cutting machine oh. and we'll keep it, it will be more productive mm -hmm. and our work won't pile up. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep, we just need to get maybe two more workers. We'll keep the current group so the workflow is flowing. Not only do you have a, a brand that, you know, you can pass out when you, you, you sell your product, people can remember it and come back for yes. it. Yes, we're going to incorporate it into all our orders now, whatever's going out, this is our brand. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank you all for watching. It's been a fantastic show. Don't forget to join us again right here next week when we meet another awesome entrepreneur right here on It's My Biz.